I just don't get why he has infinite defense. I'm still coming. His defense is 6,500. It'll keep going fucking up. Like, what the hell's wrong with this game, Dark? What the fuck is wrong with this piece of shit? I just attacked my power up. Uh, attack power up and I only did 2,000? How the fuck can I do 2,000? I should, I did, I, I literally did 10,000 a few tries ago. There was one time where I did 10,000 a few tries ago. That's 7,000 there. Why the fuck does he get to uh, fucking dodge uh, Giga? He's just dodging Giga uh, star attack. <clears throat> did you see him just walk through? He did a walk through all my characters. He just walked. Down to 27. I made it. I made another major fucking fuck up. If Globeman's dead, I can't raise my attack. I don't see Globeman anywhere. Where the fuck's Globeman? Dude, everyone's dead again. He do he's doing the super attack. See, look, he's down to 14, but because he's down, because he's down, his defense is skyrocketing. Every time I attack him, look at that, he has, he has retroactive defense that's increasing by the second. I just proved to you that he had 6,000, now it's 7,000. Fuck do I check his evil tees? Attack increased by 20 per adjacent ally unit. So he gets more attack if I'm at him. Increased stats for each. He gets increased free stats every time there's an enemy on the map. And he gets to summon for free every turn.
and after all of that, I've had him down to 64 two times, which is nothing. Like, what? Why didn't it just give me the win? It didn't even give me the win. It's just oh, 64 life left. I got this. I have to go around destroying all the regular enemies, that means. For me but for me to be able to attack a little more. And after all this fucking bullshit, he just called another enemy. He did an insta-kill on all the mages again, as always. I'm always out of fucking range in this goddamn piece of shit fucking game! Maybe he's not allowed to use the super attack if there's too many enemies that are dead, regular enemies. I literally do not see a fucking enemy left. Ooh, I did 866. Big fucking deal. 940, big fucking deal. Two people are dead already. Good. He, wait a minute, is Miz dead already? Fucking better not. I can't do much on this turn. Did he just kill the main character? 
he better fucking not. I just raised his attack. She's not any good at cleaning up. Why do they put that black portal in my way? Kill that regular enemy instead. Oh, Miz survived. You're gonna fucking die, you piece of shit! I will educate you. He's down at 2,500. Where the hell is Fen? I'm still still coming. Here I come. About fucking time, you piece of shit game. Valvatores. Who are you? I am who you call God. What does God want with me? Are you angry because we defeated Fear the Great? The man you want to rescue must be terminated. You have done well. So I will postpone the extinction of the humans of Earth. But that man shall not be forgiven. I see. So you called me out here just to tell me that? Yes. But I also wanted to meet the first person to ever defeat the Fear the Great program. Hmm. I... Tyrant Valvatoris. Fear the Great has but a fraction of my full power. Uh, hey, God! Have you ever been slapped? We will decide what happens in our world! We've worked too hard to simply obey your orders. There's more I'd like to say, but I'm a little busy here. For today, I shall only strike you once. But if you try to interfere with our world again, you shan't get off so easy next time. You dare to oppose the will of God? Of course! After all, I am a demon. Now brace yourself, God, for you are about to learn what pain feels like. My lord! Yes, I'm... Uh, well, simply put, I... What? Though it is possible that that thing wasn't God. I would have expected much more from God. Huh? Hmm. 
Anyway, who cares? Take a look at that. Looks like you were finally released by the persistent hands of God. I had no choice. Valvatoris, you must have a lot of faith in Miss Artina. <laughs> and you too, Miss Artina. Trust between a demon and a human. <laughs> I guess it's between a demon and an angel now. It's something that's very hard to believe for someone who's only seen the ugliness of wars amongst humans. Just one more time, I'll put my faith in this world again. Miss Artina, I don't know how many years it'll take me, but I will face my sins. And Valvatoris, I hope you'll guide me through it until my sins are paid off. Joe, you got it. I'll beat some sense into your head once you become a Prinny in Hades. Yeah. <laughs> I'll make sure to be ready for that. Rascal, this is a job for you now. <laughs> Who else? It's a death's duty to send souls to Hades. But... but... You can do it, Mr. Amizo! Yeah, just be confident, but don't cut off any weird parts. Emizel, please. Uh, uh, okay. I'll do Judge Nemo, your life ended a long time ago. As death, I will reap your soul. In the name of Death Amizel, I hereby sunder thy soul from this life. Judge Nemo, I'll see you in Hades. Finally, the worlds were saved by the hands of the rebels from Hades. Valvator, the names of these six heroes who saved the worlds were engraved into history to be taught for generations to come. On a side note, when Amizel was appointed to the position of Netherworld President, the name of President Axel was completely removed from public records and was forever sealed away in the darkness of history. <laughs>